Welcome, I'm Kenneth Andre, Tengu Jitsu Master and Mystic Ninja. Okay, again, everything that I share and say and do is for a reason. Okay, I'm going to be stepping into the mysteries. It's going to come across as, as a bit random, but it's not. You've got to pay attention to these videos. I urge you again to go over these pre previous videos. Precept must be upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a lot there a little here a little there a little okay the truth is just something you just can't blur out there's many layers to it and you have to seek the depths of God you have to get wisdom by really delving into symbology okay studying hard and asking daily always in prayer in meditation okay for the truth to be revealed in you but you're not going to do this unless you finish with the world so to speak okay this desire will bubble up in you a thirst for real truth some like to test the waters okay and they they're seeking answers they've gone through a lot However, when they really start turning towards the light, it can get a bit hot at first and they'd be quick to then go back. When spirit is really upon your heart and you are called, there is no going back. You are going to go through a very dramatic process because you're going to be in the final destination, which I've talked about in my previous video. Spirit works all ends to good. You will go from strength to strength. We are all going through a process. I just want to um, readdress something here as well because I'm. I, I was watching something earlier, and again, the religious belief system. There's individuals that are kind of pointing their finger at music artists. And saying they are demonic I I feel that I should um, share to my mind okay what it is that we are seeing and we shouldn't speculate or have assumptions about certain individuals presentations okay because we don't know and a lot of people only look at the surface of something they don't go do their research they don't really question they make a, an assessment, a judgment, and nine times out of ten, that's usually wrong. Okay, for example, uh, little Nas X, okay, he gets a lot of flack from certain religious belief systems. He's truth dropping, all right? Same as Little Wayne, Lady Gaga, David Bowie, Blake, Black Eyed Peas, Florence, The Machine. A lot of these are, should we say, one of knowledge, of wisdom. Okay, shiny beans that many do not understand. And if people go look into it, they're going to come across material that shakes their own paradigms. And they'll just push it to one side and, and remain with that comfortable per perception, assumption that they've should we say that they assume all right things are not what they seem in this world you must come from a place of compassion and judge not judge not least you be judged there is a lot going on in this realm and i can't stress this and not you must get rid of your prejudices okay your assumptions because truth is all around us. It's in plain sight. We live and move and have our being in God and God in us. And unless you're willing to unlearn everything and really question and do your homework, it will serve you well not to make the assumptions, to not say anything, okay? Because life, your manifestations, blessings or curses, can roll off your tongue, off your heart.
be careful with your thought word and deed it is very powerful because you condemn yourself by the things that you are saying thinking and doing okay this is the warning given to us in scripture okay I'm going to share some random images in a minute let me give you uh, an insight into when I first started off studying I, I first come across The Alchemist it was the first book I read and then of course The Power The Secret Ask It Is Given okay The Magic of Thinking Big all right and then dragon touch uh, of course this is the type of material i used to read okay when i was teaching martial arts <laughs> then i come across this sort of material look um i don't know if you can see that right I'm just going to quickly blaze for this, guys. I love Dr. Wayne Duaro. I miss him. Okay. The Call of the Shaman. Then, again, in that uh, uh, New Age crystals, but I learned a lot, okay, about colours that they do have an effect, energy, frequencies, okay. I'm just giving a basic insight here. Then astrology. Then I get into dream interpretation. Symbols. Okay. This is where spirit is uh, was leading me down. Then I have to show that one. I, like I said, I didn't waste my time, and there's so much, so many books I've read. Okay, I'm just giving you a basic insight. Again, everything that I say and share and do is for a reason. Then, funny enough, strange, the simulation theory pops up. Okay. Then I go down a strange route of studying demonology and other schools of thought. And learning about spells and psychic powers believe it or not you learn a lot believe it or not you learn a lot of should we say nature cycles patterns um, energies being interconnected herbology you learn a real lot okay and believe it or not it reveals a lot of the simple meaning in the bible then, oh no, here we go. Enochia magic. Okay. Oh no. Enochia magic is in a magic. Okay. And then you got Neville Goddard, A Course in Miracles. Um, the, yeah. I've got. The Complete Reader by Neville Goddard, The Emerald Tablets, The Apocrypha, it goes on and on, William Blake, Poetry. Now, this is fascinating, because in poetry, there is massive truth drops, and it was introduced to us straight away, straight away from school. So I've shared you all them books, and yet, and there is so many more. I have been studying day and night for 11 years. Well, since the year 2011, okay, it's coming up 12 years now. I think it is 12 years. I literally did study day and night. I can't stress that enough, all right? You think what you can do in an hour, okay, or a couple of hours. Uh, every moment I had spare, I was either, even if I was in the bath, I was listening to um, some audio book or a mystic's um, presentation etc like I said I didn't mess around I did my homework in fact I had no choice because spirit is like you you get your head down in the book you need to study it's time all right and everything 
it was horrific. I couldn't even go to the gym because, well, I tried to go to the gym and then all, a strange a thing occurred. I ripped my back muscles. My back is strong from the army. And I, I was uh, really upset with spirit because I knew this was um, spirit's intervention. And I knew I had to. I was literally denied everything. It was, you're going to get your head in the book. Okay. And I did. And I studied there not. And I'm so grateful for that. People wouldn't believe that, you know. God would stop you going to the gym and doing it. Yeah. All right. You will be stripped of everything. Those who are truly in Christ and belong to him and you've got works to do. Okay. You're going to do it. <laughs> People wouldn't believe me. Anyway. So there's many great books that, are, that have all helped to educate me, to teach me to read, etc. Okay. Then I come across these books. I was walking around the block and someone had a box and there was these two books of um, poetry that we, should we say, we teach to our kids in nursery, etc. Okay. And so believe it or not, I grabbed these books. And you would not believe that in these books that you hear these stories, it's got Humpty Dumpty and all that lot in it. It's got many, many nursery rhymes and etc. Okay. These hold the greatest of secrets. Okay. <laughs> I can I've gone through all this material and I I mean, I, I studied A Course in Miracles and I wanted the greatest book after listening to an, a secret meeting with these um, princesses and uh, these people in certain positions. Hi. OK. And they were talking about some of the books that I've shared with you, but they they had secret books. And I said to Spirit, I want the book. I want the greatest book that ever is with all the secrets. I want to know. And of course, I received the Bible and I pushed it away. I was like, I don't want the Bible. I'm not into religion or anything. And I'm not into religion or belief system. But the Bible kept coming to me. And it's only when I started listening to some great teachers like Neville Goddard, Emmett Fox, Lee Andy Waters, I noticed they were interpreting, or should we say, giving a different perspective on what the what the scripture was saying from the religious belief system and that made me pay attention and then I couldn't believe what was in the bible there was a hidden scripture within scripture so I've, I've read these books and the greatest key in secrets is in your children's books <laughs> I, it, the way spirit works there's this verse where he says he makes the weak strong and the strong weak. I'm paraphrasing, okay? The intelligent dumb and the dumb intelligent. Things are not what they seem and everything is kind of backwards in this world. Well, not kind of, is backwards in this world. For example, all right, I'll just give you a little, okay? I live in a city. Yes, I do. I live in a city. Yes, I do. I live in a city. Yes, I do. Made by human hands. OK, black hands, white hands, yellow and brown all together built this town. All right. Listen to Jay-Z, who who runs this town. <laughs> and if you keep going on. You are going to be shocked of the revelations that you received. People just won't believe it. OK. The greatest secrets. It's like that scene in Men in Black when he's looking for intel and he goes to like a, a paper stand. Newspaper stand. And you got there again, the, like the conspiracy magazines and he's looking it in there. And one of the agents, I won't say his name, is like, really? And he goes, yeah, that's what we, that's what we're looking for. You're always going to find truths in the most unlikely places that's what the allegory is in men in black when it, he's this you know secret agent and he goes in the middle of town 
to this rat which seems like a random newspaper stand okay where the dog's talking and he pulls out like a, a conspiracy column sort of thing and he looks in there and he sees what he's looking for and it's kind of like this all right you wouldn't believe that right from the beginning in children's nursery rhymes and poems there was powerful truth drops <laughs> this this world i tell <laughs> this is crazy anyway so let's get on with this so yeah i've been studying a long time and all praise and glory to my invisible father and through the lord jesus christ that's formed in me for the visible image the love wisdom and power reflects the invisible spirit light and love the all one mind god okay you are the temple of god the compass all right this is really important very symbolic should we say of yourself okay and as you're going we use a compass when we're doing map reading judging distance okay and when we're doing our measurements if we are off any slight deviation okay when we're trying to make these uh, these alignments okay with our compass with our grid etc just to off a fraction and you could be a couple of miles off the greater the distance okay this is also symbolic of the compass that's in you all right you've got to stay straight and narrow in seeking truth and not get pulled in by the different belief systems the rabbit holes okay you you want to keep seeking the depths of god and don't think should we say the mysteries and truth is part of god it's infinite now and as it mentions in the emerald tablets of faith there's even greater should we say entities intelligent beings they are still learning and when i heard that that blew me away even after all these years of learning i am still should we say starting off as a young student okay I, I remain as a humble student because i know even after even sharing this i share this and extend my hand back and i keep going forward all right i've got hundreds of slides in slideshare.net the link is in the description and you can see that i made these slides throughout these 12 years right hundreds of them powerful truth drip truth drops and keys to the mystery but i've moved on from that all right at one point a lot of them slides were true to me but a lot of them are not now but they've steered me in the right direction and i kept going not stayed there it's like never got out said truth is like a fiery fiery spiral staircase as you're going up you go on the first steps that's the truth as you keep going up the next lot of steps is the truth and you keep doing this until you get so far up you look behind you and what you thought was the truth is burnt away it's such a great metaphor for should we say moving along the journey of truth into light okay so the compass is really powerful symbol okay because it's it's a part of you and we've been in a world upside down and the compass that we've been following in our heart okay is we've been following the wrong direction which brings me then to some Im random images i'm going to show you Now look at this. Again, I'm not a part of any Freemasons, secret societies, or beliefs, religious belief system. Okay. What I just showed you is that. 
and I've already talked about that in my previous video. We need to keep going over these videos. Look at that. The heart. If you look at the past images that I've been showing you throughout these videos, what has been in the middle of the two pillars? What have you seen? Put the images on top of images, layers upon layers now, okay? Like an anagram, okay? Look at the allegory of putting the picture symbols on top of each other and you'll see an image the Christ start to appear through symbols and this will appear in you as you go up through the steps of knowledge into wisdom what you perceive becomes your perception becomes your experience and what we've been experiencing is all strawberry fields now many of out there in the conspiracy channels talk about this right and you notice they point the North Star there and they're trying to talk about the cosmology of the world all right I gotta be careful what I say here now now remember what I said about my what I said in my previous videos get the true compass remember East West north south right let me stop it there so remember i've talked about this associated with this all right one moment see this the shape of this okay that mirror is in the Egyptian hieroglyphs all right oh there I am okay but where I am is where the mirror is when I close my eyes here I am there is the mirror this is me yeah I can't see it okay this eye okay I open my eyes I see my earth I close my eyes and I take that which is into the light as soon as I go within I'm entering into my heaven I go into deep meditation and leave this body at here which is symbolic of taking off the sandals to go to the burning bush Okay, that's what I'm going to say there. One moment. So just quick again. As I look in the mirror, there I am. I close my eyes. I know the mirror and me is in earth. Okay. I'm just waiting for something to upload. The objects that I'm aware, aware of through my five senses is telling me what's in earth. And I know a lot of what's in earth is projected from a source. Your eyes are not just taking in information, they are, they are projecting information. Okay. Right. Okay. Sorry, I'm smiling because I'm trying to. I got all this, <laughs> I got equipment everywhere. And, um, I'm waiting for something to upload and things are coming to me. I gotta be careful again. So passionate about this knowledge going off in a tangent, right? <clears throat> Listen to this from the Emerald Tablets, okay? Exist then shall you while the earth is existing, changing in form. Okay? Only when earth too shall change, change, testing not of tasting not of death, but one with this planet holding your form till all pass away list you O oh man listen you O oh man why I give this secret so that you too shall taste not of change 
okay and then it goes into something else I'm not going to go into what is faith revealing is that you are a heaven and earth unto itself which I've mentioned in my previous videos we are told in the book of Revelation that the new heaven and earth comes down to us now it's funny because you notice in the book of Revelation the churches are sent a letter it's the tribes that are received in 144,000 not the churches the tribes the people okay the peculiar people those who are called by name and sealed those who are who are should we say finishing in the final destination okay so this is going to seem quite a random video but what I've shared there is very powerful keys and I hope it inspires you to go do your research go over these videos because you are more powerful than you could possibly imagine of course you are are we not told from scripture that you are the temple of God and things that are in your external experience okay especially at a distance that the age that we've been in is not what it seems what comes into your immediate cubic reality is attuned to the state that you are being and what's going on up here all right you can look at people and events as symbols of what's going on within you what's going on with the world is the old Adam passing away this is why Jesus in fact Neville Goddard said when you start seeing these things going on in your world okay you want to be excited Jesus says do not worry about when you start seeing all these things it's the birthing pains okay because we're changing the world is changing all right we to anyone else this won't make sense for those who are still going through a certain process they they might not even come across this type of material it doesn't exist yet all right both also mentions that two of you can be in a room but you're seeing two totally different realities but while you meet up there is a sinking of the subconscious a shared um, dual partake uh, partaking of that stream for a particular reason okay and it will all be in sync of the state of mind that you're in and the processes that you are going through whereby the external presentation has messages spirit is talking to you okay I'm trying to be very careful a precept upon precept line upon line here a little there a little for example I'm, again I'm not a part of any religious belief system but this is something that the Hebrew the Jewish people wear in prayer bless them it's amazing okay but nothing but love and respect for them they got they are God's people they, they're part of God's creation right the tallit this is what it's called okay now this is a precept within a precept all this is symbolic of what's in here and if you pay attention to scripture all right and you understand this and you get to know what this is about and with what I've been saying about Lord Jesus Christ okay how to uh, uh, apply your mind until the virtue of that end result grows out of you you start creating your eternal heavenly home using your, your imagination everything is going to make so much more sense okay this is all jigsaw puzzle pieces of gold 
for you. All right, at the appointed time, you will be called and you're going to come across, should we say, you're going to come across very similar setup as I've been showing you. <laughs> okay. I cannot stress how important this is. Okay. I close my eyes. I can imagine a rose and smell it. And I can still smell that rose without actually putting a rose to my physical sense. How is it that my mind, that I can still smell a rose without it physically being here? All right. Alice through the looking glass. Okay. These bodies that we wear, they're only avatars, as mentioned in the Emerald Tablets of Faith. He literally calls them avatars. You're in a host body system. These bodies are just used for communication, for interaction. All right. You're always going to have a, a body to express yourself through an experience, as mentioned in the Bible. All right. I hope I've shared something that inspires you. Look forward then to the next video. I'm Kenneth Andre, Tango Jitsu Master and Mystic Ninja. Love you guys.